Good morning children. Today we shall talk about measurement. Have you ever seen your mother putting every ingredient carefully in a certain amount while cooking? Or sometimes when you are not well, your parents might touch your forehead to find out whether you have fever or not. Or at times you are able to figure out that your school bag is heavier or lighter from other days just by holding it. All this may not be accurate or exact but you at least get a fair idea. This rough idea of how much is called estimation. In many cases this estimation skill is very useful for us and as we saw we make use of it in everyday life. Even you kids are really good estimators, believe me. Looking at your homework, don't you estimate how much time you will take to complete your homework and how much time will be left for playing? Or take another example. When your mother calls you for dinner, you say, 10 more minutes mother, I will finish my game and come. How did you get that figure of 10 minutes? It was estimation, isn't it? But do you think every time this estimation can work? No, definitely not all the time. Like if you want to go to a friend's place and you have his address but no idea how far or near it is, then you will be confused whether you should go there on foot or use a bicycle or you need to take a bus. In this case, knowing the exact distance between your home and friend's house helps you to choose the appropriate mode of transport. Let's take another example. How do you verify that a new pair of pants is of correct length for you? That is, it is of your exact size. For this, you measure your length, right? So what is measurement? So by measuring, you get accurate dimension that is length, breadth or height accurate capacity or quantity of an object. Not just this, even the distance traveled or the duration of a task can be measured. As we saw in the story, the villager gave the exact length for his new pants to be stitched. He also measured it accurately using his hands. But when he got the pants stitched by the tailor, it came out to be short. Why was it so? This is because he used his hands to measure the length required which was equal to three hands. At the cloth shop, another man that is Goluram's hand was used for measurement. Even he measured accurately that is three hands only. So where was the problem? The hands of the villager and Goluram were not of the same size. Goluram's hands were much smaller than that of the villagers. So. The new pants stitched was of short length. What do we conclude from this incidence? For consistency or accuracy of measurement, the unknown quantity has to be measured with respect to some fixed quantity, not the varying one. So instead of two different person's hands, if the same person's hand were used for giving and taking measurements of the pants, there wouldn't have been any problem and the villager would have got the correct length for his pants. Or if the luck had favored villager and both villager and Goluram had the same size of hands, problem wouldn't have come up. But we cannot rely on luck or coincidences all the time, isn't it? So we learn that the unknown quantity has to be measured with respect to some fixed quantity. This fixed quantity against which an unknown quantity is measured is called a unit. You know, in the olden days, this was how things were measured using the different body parts. In one method, they measured distance between the tip of the thumb and the tip of the little finger of a fully stretched hand. This method or unit was called hand span. You know, what was the villager referring to when he said three hands? Well, he measured the distance between the tip of the middle finger and the elbow. This unit is called cubit. Not just hands, 
even other body parts like foot was used to measure the length or the distance as the name suggest foot span was the length of person's foot and the distance of a step was also used which was called a pace we no longer follow these units nowadays after seeing the problem faced by the villager while getting a new pair of pants stitched you must have understood very well why is it so it is because the length of body parts vary from person to person and so these units are not reliable as for the same thing different measurements are there when measured by different people therefore people realize the need for some uniformity as we saw even in the story for uniformity instead of varying length of hands new units were introduced as the unit for measuring the length of the cloth a fixed length was used this was called meter it was a unit against which unknown quantity of clothes were measured so scientists all over the world have adopted a common sets of units this system is called the international system of units or SI units so now you know what is the difference between estimation and measurement and why measurement is required and why we need standard units for measurement bye bye kids